This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza in Crowley, Texas, at my storage facility for my RV. Today, I'm going to re be replacing my WFCO uh, charger converter box, uh, specifically the bottom portion. Uh, the current version only charges up to 80% for lithium batteries, and as you very well know, I'm a big fan of uh, lithium batteries, specifically from the brand AO Lithium. I currently have one on the tongue in the uh, tongue box. Plan to add the second one eventually when I get a new tongue box. The current tongue box only allows one battery. So it's not long enough. It's not long enough. So uh, that's the plan for today. Let me show you the converter box and some of the things I'm going to have to do uh, to get this project rolling. Let me turn around the camera. There's a storage facility. Somebody has a tracer by me and a prowler and a boat and some cattle over there. We are in Texas. So there's a the fridge, there's the entrance, and there's the uh, WFCO charger converter box. I'm going to be taking that apart and um, installing a new part. Let me go down these stairs. Right now I have my power watchdog connected to power. Of course I can always, uh, before I start, I'm gonna have to yank that out just to make sure I'm not uh, receiving any alternating current, uh, just to be safe. I have that wire going under my RV. And it's over here and I'm also gonna disconnect it over here. So not here. And there, both spots are going to be disconnected, okay? Here's my truck. Yes, I wish I had an F-350 with a super duper engine and uh, towing package, but I don't. So right here, I have this little wire connected to my um, battery shelf. The problem is uh, the solar power is always going to be on and I have one uh, 190 watt uh, go power panel on the roof and it seems to be always on and always charging things so so again the 12 volts gonna have to be turned off this is gonna have to be turned off my power watchdog my 30 amp Power washer has to be disconnected. My 30 amp smart surge protector plus EPO by Hughes Autoformers. And uh, that's about it. And then I can get to work on my converter charger. Here's a view of our project for today. We're going to be installing this uh, 8900 MBA series. Uh, it's called the 8955 MBA AD 55 amp uh, replacement power center converters. Very nice. It's from the kind folks at WFCO. So there's a box. Here's a view that you'll see from the front as you open the converter charger box. It has this little piece of metal here. And then it has this uh, heat sink right there. Very nice. And you have three wires one wire, two wires, three wires. Notice that they're all nicely soldered. Very nice. That's an extra special touch by the folks who make these uh, charger converters. And then you have the red and the black. I think this is the AC side and that's the DC side. So this is the AC side. So you have them nicely, nicely soldered. What do you think? Again. Super, super fantastic. Nicely soldered. Here's a front view. See the uh, board there and various components. Uh, and since I'm not an electrician or an RV tech or an RV nerd, I do not know what they are. My brother, who's a technician, was here. He would help me out. Uh, but that ain't gonna happen. So here's a little fan on the side. And there's a, another view of the unit. 
What do you think? I'd like to thank uh, Shannon Hicks, who drove uh, over 25 miles uh, to help me out. Again, I met Shannon on Facebook. He's an engineer, a very nice guy, and obviously knows a little bit more about electronics than I do. Thank you very much, Shannon Hicks. So he already has the uh, panel open, and there's two screws on the top. Made it do the circuit breakers, which is very nice. Very nice, that came off pretty easy. Very nice. And then it slides out just like that, huh? Just like that. That's pretty easy. I've seen people actually take this off. I think that might be the way to do it. Yeah, just like that. We can yeah. See. I I have a little bit of a brain. Not you very much. Save the day. I, I'm not the brightest uh, bulb in the candelabra, but I do have at least one or two bulbs left here. Well, I think you solved it right there. So uh, I appreciate Shannon coming down and helping me out. Very generous, very, very, very generous. And Not often you get to meet a, a star in person, you know. Yes, you uh, down. they do call me the Brown Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they need the qualifier. <laughs> well, it's pretty, actually pretty sad, actually. I'm the Benjamin Button version. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Incredible. You got blood on your fingers. It's Look not that. a project unless somebody bleeds. Ah, my. There we go. Very nice. We've got the DC side hooked up. Congratulations. Very good work. I'm glad I can help. Again, uh, I'm not the, you know, I'm not an expert. I'm not a technician. I have family members who are technicians, you know. You know, they live in $3 million homes in Silicon Valley. They know what the hell they're doing. But me, not so much. So, but they're not here to help me. But Shannon Hicks has helped me out, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. That's a special screwdriver. That's one of those Robertsons. Mm -hmm. And number two, if I remember correctly. And he's taking that little central. The neutral out. The neutral's over here. And then he's Let me see if I can and ground. And ground. Very nice. And you're making that. That's the famous one that always uh, tends to strip. I've seen some people complain about that one. And, uh, there it is, nice little tight shot. Oh, you're doing perfect. Very nice. You know, very nice. Very good job. Move this out of the way. I plan to keep this converter for a while, this converter charger, as a backup in case anything goes uh, haywire while I'm traveling. 
which they shouldn't. Again, if you have any problems, questions with your uh, install, always contact the folks at WFCO. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to be leaving uh, Shannon's phone number in the description. He uh, He's just doing this for one time and one time only, okay? Keep bumping stuff with my feet. That's just my little mop over there. Let's see here. If you want, I can hold something. I think we're good. I don't know if I need to pop this breaker off and then do it, or if it'd be easier just to keep it in there. So you're there trying to, go. and so you're trying to put it in there. Now you got your Robertson screwdriver right there. Tightening it up. Make sure it's nice and tight coming through here. Of course, you got to make sure everything is nice and tight according to Shannon because uh, you don't want it uh, disconnecting while you're on the road, while you're driving down the road in your little uh, earthquake on wheels. Number two Robertson screwdriver, square square tip. And then you got the last one. That one goes right there. I'll get out of his way for a second. Oops. You know, uh, Shannon, it's it's a, it's pretty easy watching. <laughs> I must admit, I get great joy watching other people work. <laughs> well, I enjoy working on other people's stuff because if I break it, I can just leave. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. That's not nice. Okay, um, let's slide this in here. Make sure nothing gets. So those are the two screws for the base and the uh, embedded in the plastic is a looks like brass Somewhere the screw's not just going into plastic, it's actually going to some brass, which is very nice. Good quality feature of the WFCO uh, converter chargers. What kind of watch is that? What? Apple watch. An Apple watch. I thought it was a special aeronautics watch or something. Does it have aeronautic features on it? I don't know. <laughs> Probably does, but I don't know. Okay, that again, that just clips on there, and then you might as well make sure everything is turned off. And so, this should be our converter right here. And let's see if it works. Let's plug it in. Okay, let's plug it in. I'll let you have the honors so I can videotape this. Connected over there? Yes, I am. At the storage facility, I do have uh, power, which is very nice. And the dog's white face uh, came up. That means uh, we're getting good power. power. switched off in there. Yes. I always have issues with that. I'm trying to figure out how to do that. So I switched out my entire one to yeah. the uh, to the uh, smart plug. Smart plug? So it's just a straight plug, get more contact area. Should we do the 12 volt over there? I'm going to leave that off for just now. Okay. So with the converter on, it should run all the DC components in the house. First thing to do is I'm going to flip the main. 
That's good. We'll do the converter. Flip the rest of them on. Hit the microwave. We've got power. It's working. Hey! It's amazing when you have somebody uh, around that knows what the hell he's doing. <laughs> I can hear the fan going. Let's see if the refrigerator's working. Lights are on. Pepsi looks cold. Very nice. Looks like it's working. So we're done, huh? Button it up. Button it up. And this is the final part here. He's going to button it up. He's going to put the... Uh, and we'll go flip the battery on here. And we'll flip on the battery next. First test of making sure the smoke stayed inside the wire has passed. Yes. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, I'll leave a link to the folks at uh, WFCO. Of course, you can always contact me because I'm a good observer. I'm a good observer. <laughs> And uh, again, thank you very much, Shannon Hicks. We're driving all the way down here. Let's go flip the battery on and make sure it all looks okay. Again, the power watchdog is looking good. We're plugged in. We got some a blue light. And he's. Uh, it's different from yours. It's it's a smaller, punier version of the 12 volt shutoff, okay. and the everything seems to be going good with the battery there. And there's my tripod, my one of my small tripods. Everything's still working. Just, you could just point three, thirteen point four. So I think your battery's fully charged. Yeah, it should go up to fourteen point one or something like that. The last when mm -hmm. I had it only on solar at home and not connected to anything, mm -hmm. you know, it just sat out there. It just got up to one hundred percent. It got up to, uh, you know, with the converter, hopefully, again, uh, alternating current should be. Uh, will it bypass this? This is this. This is just the solar coming in. This should now charge my batteries that's right to 14 point something they're all coming to the same point mm -hmm. right so this charges it that charges it it all works at the same time whichever one has the highest voltage is going to basically rule. so with a smart uh, converter i don't know how this one's supposed to work but it should get up to 14.2 to 14.6 very nice to charge the uh, lithium battery very nice so we're all set and here's a final shot for all you folks out there. Everything seems to be working. Thanks for watching my video. And again, thanks to the kind folks at WFCO. They are the nicest people ever. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, I'll be leaving links to WFCO, to their customer service department. And also, you can always contact me uh, at any time if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions things you would uh, say hey Asus you can do that a little bit better I always appreciate all your comments questions especially if they're very professional and very nice okay so again uh, the reason I installed this charger converter it's the newer model it has auto detect that's the state-of-the-art currently in the converter charger market and the kind folks at WFCO wanted me to do a install and review and see how it works. I guess they wanted to make it, make sure it was, uh, how we say this in a kind way, dummy proof. And who is the dummy? I don't know who's the dummy, but I, I had some help, luckily, to, <laughs> to install. The folks at uh, WFCO said I can contact them at any time. Of course, this is a Sunday. I doubt if there's anybody down there to help me out. But uh, also. Uh, Everybody out there has made great suggestions, great uh, recommendations, and of course I watched a ton of YouTube videos and they greatly helped me out. YouTube is a great resource. 
from Crowley, Texas, where I have my RV stored. It's a stormy day here. It's going to be uh, quite a bit of rain here, and we're going to have thunderstorms in just a bit. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Thanks for checking out my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I always say that. And don't forget to leave your kind and super friendly uh, comments abajo. Muchas gracias a todos a ustedes. From Crowley, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.